since our event today will uh, take place in English, I will um, uh, say a few introductory words uh, in English. Uh, unfortunately, um, a great tragedy is happening in uh, the nearby country, in a brother country that is Ukraine. And uh, we have uh, um, united our uh, forces with our friends from uh, Japan and um, Turkey um, as uh, to s launch a project that can have a positive impact uh, on the whole situation. Uh, we are aiming um, to create an eco-village that would uh, help the refugees uh, and also start planning towards the rebuilding uh, of Ukraine uh, in an eco-friendly, green and very efficient uh, um, way. Um, I would like to remind you that um, this is the first event. The second event will take place tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m. at Media Core. Uh, we will also have a networking session and uh, everyone is welcome uh, to um, actually take part and uh, maybe help us together with our friends to achieve our objective. Uh, thank you. Now I will pass word to uh, Rodion uh, and he will say uh, a few more things. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. My name is Rodion. Uh, I lived in Japan for 18 years until uh, October last year when I came back in uh, uh, Kishinev because my father left me a house in, uh, on Pushkin Street and I have decided to open there um, a place I'm calling Neo Tokyo Body Mind uh, Transformation Multiplex which will include uh, five sections all of which will provide uh, techniques for transformation, for human transformation and self-development. Mm, I think this is a very important step to do now because of uh, the situation in the world in general, Nico describes it, and, and other problems, problems we have uh, basically, basically non-stop. Stop. And uh, I, I would, would like to put my efforts uh, in uh, creating a stronger link uh, with our soul and with our body uh, with uh, such techniques like yoga, meditation, uh, visual art, uh, psychoanalysis and philosophy, uh, ecstatic dance or on Coco Buto and uh, techno music. These are directions I will be working. I have experience in these fields, so uh, I think I will be able to provide interesting information and uh, inner technologies for this. I share this idea with my Japanese friends and uh, uh, first of all, they uh, uh, were feeling bad about what's happening uh, uh, at our doors. And uh, uh, they would like, uh, they expressed their uh, desire to participate in these processes. And of course, they are uh, willing to uh, help uh, promote uh, what I just mentioned, this uh, necessary connection with nature, for example, and uh, with uh, our spirit uh, and uh, cal generate calm mind and uh, reconnect with uh, silence, inner silence, because it's very important for us uh, taking into consideration and war and then before COVID and basically many, many problems we have at the moment. So uh, they express the desire to come in Moldova and uh, research the possibility of creation a uh, future village that Nico just mentioned. I won't take more time because I would like uh, to pass the word to Tero Kurasaki, my old friend, who is uh, officially entrepreneur, but I would like to see him as a community builder. For me, this is the person who is for many, de several decades, building very strong communities in Tokyo and Japan, which I had experienced for many years and grew up basically in one of his community. So, Tero, I'm passing your word uh, and your presentation. Yeah, actually, Hello, how do you do? And then, sorry, we, I just cannot speak Russian, but uh, 15 years ago, I came to Moscow and St. Petersburg, where Rodion studied. And then he studied the economy, and then uh, more like uh, international things, and uh, he studied in Japan, that uh, 
uh, art curation or contemporary art things. And then uh, since these days, you know, I met his mother and also all those friends in Moscow and then St. Petersburg. And then, uh, now, you know, this kind of sad things happening, but uh, I still think, you know, Russia and then uh, uh, Moldova and then it's it kind of good brothers, you know, used to be. And still, still deep in the mind, still you have a love to each other. So I, I don't want to say which is good or bad, or you know, I don't care about that so much, but more like a, a good relationship. And then, uh, so with uh, Rodion, we have really deep relationship with, uh, with uh, art and then design. And then my life is done uh, like a, a lot of uh, art events or a lot community we make. So I present to you what we are, I am doing, like maybe one third or one fourth of the things I did, you know. So I can show you what we are doing, okay? And then, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, I have a, I took over the abandoned kind of village which only old people are living in Japan, and then hundred. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This this is uh, the moss garden, and then the perception of the moss and then grass grown are different. So, you know, like, uh, I like uh, the, mo I went to this moss garden. I cannot, okay. You know, and then the reason, the, the theme of me, this presentation is how wash out, a clean out. And then the, the reason why there's a, so much this kind of natural moss garden is a shrine. And then to, the, because of the shrine yard, uh, people, villagers, you know, uh, clean out every morning and then to keep this moss alive. And then that is the only one condition to keep the moss alive. So. I was so much impressed with this uh, shrine yard and the mosque garden. Then on the way to mosque garden, there's a uh, small village, abandoned village. Only 100 people, old people are living there. And then I st start buying the, all those abandoned houses and they make a new creation, new village, you know, and then this is a shrine yard, and this is a farm I bought, you know. And then this is a stone quarry where the, all the stones are made, you know. And then at the 2,600 years ago, in this area, the stones which they dig, and then they use as a coin, stone coin. The first Japanese uh, coin, stone coin, are made in this area. And also interesting is like uh, uh, this area, farmers revolution happened. And then uh, it, farmers control the, conquer the, this area. Not the samurai or not the, the authority, you know. More like uh, uh, farmers used to be like uh, anarchist and then not centralized. So nowadays, you know, the people want to do the, the centralization and then uh, they, you know, in one sense, you know, the democracy is more like uh, accept the anarchism and then this centralization of the value or opposite, di different kind of value they are taking over. So in this farmland, 
used to be the, the center of this. And then this is my study room. And then these, you know, there's uh, some young people I brought, and the young people start living in the farming. And then this area is famous for the ceramics and the lacquerware. And then, then we make a farm and then, and then this kind of party and then make a food and then, and then in nowadays, you know, like a, almost 30 people are living there, all young people from all over the world. And they're from Denmark or from England, or from America or all those people. And then, uh, you know, uh, Rodion and then all those kind of foreign people just they come and then this is like a, a another in the same village we bought this kind of old house Japanese house and then converted it into this kind of design and art scene then inside the renovation is like this using all those furniture I I used to have a, like a furniture company and developing all those designers kind of and creating the all those movement of the design. And this is like a warehouse, and the inside is like this, natural wine bar, and the upstairs is a music kind of recording place. And then we have a chicken, this is a chicken houses for chickens. So we have like 60 chickens and then seven goats, and even the bear around there, we can, we try to feed them to grow, and then, you know, this is a uh, bad, bad houses. So, you know, the we we don't care about the 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 birds or dogs. And we have some dogs, and then this is a uh, the stone, and then all those houses, and then these are the cafe, and then we, we make a furniture uh, fa farming. So farming, and then in this uh, environment, I was grown up in Tokyo, and only in, I know only the cities, but uh, I was so impressed with the moss and then all those environment in the village, in the countryside. It's called uh, uh, Takigahara, that area, and then one hour by plane and the 20 minutes by car from the airport to the, so maybe one hour and 20 minutes from Tokyo, we can come to this village. So this is all the rice, uh, rice stock warehouse. And then we make all those things. So this is stone quarry. And then this whole village used to be the, uh, used to be the farmer's revolution. So farmer's kind of conquered, which I, I want to present now to the world, and then this is a stone quarry inside. We have a, a concert like this, and then maybe sooner or later we want to create this kind of concert, and then Woodstock or all those things. So this is uh, the area, that the place. So, you know, behind this, I go back to the shrine yard. So in Japan, there's a Shinto, which is very much weak, kind of not strong, not religion, more like attitude to the to the nature. So you know, because of this nature, the attitude to the nature, worship the 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 nature, and then respect people, and then you know the uh, accept uh, other religion and the other way of thinking you know, is most important. And naturally, you know, in Japan, those people are believing in, in this kind of sacredness of the nature. And this is uh, the uh, symbol of the, this Shintoism. And then this is a forest with that, and inside the forest, there's uh, eight million gods. So each tree has a god. It's like a, it's not like religion, more like attitude to the nature, respect the nature and respect people and they accept all the religions and they accept other people's way of thinking. 
So important thing is just washing out. So all these photos uh, just try to uh, express the, what they are doing. And then, so since that time, we go back to the, the, the business. So we start farmer's market at the, in Tokyo. And then this is uh, in front of a United Nations University. Uh, uh, you know, at this United Nations University, they are quite okay, not, not so much politics, more like a, uh, we can use this as a, like a marketplace. And then we do a lot of event there, including the, the dog, uh, dog event or cat event. And then this is uh, all those uh, flower arrangement, all those things in the center of Tokyo. So I want to connect to this natural way of thinking in the countryside. And then uh, this kind of commercial business society things, you know. So this, this is uh, photos in the farmer's market in the Tokyo, but it's more like a not selling uh, merchandise, more like a activity and then movement. So this bread or event or, you know, coffee festival or, you know, look, look at the, those kind of, lot of coffee. And this is a peace mark with tea. So tea for peace. We, we, we named the event. And then a lot of uh, this kind of design oriented this, uh, uh, things. So, you know, Low Tokyo is like a second hand, like fashion. And then just neighborhood of this kind of United Nations University, like a Comte de or Yojiamoto or Ise Miyake or all those kind of things, which whom I know quite well, all those people in person. And then those people come, and then we can make uh, create some movement, all those artists or designer or all those uh, people, you know. So also at the same time, I love those uh, uh, people do one good. One in Japan is like a bow wow wow, like a dog bark, wow. wow. So same word we said one. So with uh, Mr. Iso Takashi, and then he take over all those uh, do one good. He set up the, the organization called, called do one good. And then before he started up the exchange of the abandoned, thrown away dog, you know, in Japan, Japanese people are really, uh, you know, the, the very serious. And then like, uh, like here, and then if there's a no, uh, nobody's looking after the dog, they kill the dogs. So, you know, but uh, he tried to exchange the dog, abandoned dog or thrown away dog to other people, new parents. So this, we do starting doing this. And then cats too, and then do one good. So do one good is, uh, you know, my best friend is a dog. My best friend is a cat. And they do the good things to the people, do the good things to the cats, do cats good, do dogs good, you know, all those things, you know. So which is more like a love to the nature, love to the animals, so same as like this. So we look after the dog. So we come this time from via Istanbul, and in Istanbul there are so many stray cats and stray dogs. So, you know, the, this uh, Ukrainian war is happening, and the people are refugees bring uh, the pets, but unfortunately, they cannot look after the pets. So we start activity here to look after the, this uh, refugee people's pets. Like a, we don't like to say pets, more like a friend, you know, as like a person. So relationship between the, the dogs, the cats, and people are similar to the people each other, and similar to the na uh, different kind of creatures. So we do this, and then, and then also at the same time, in the center of Tokyo, we took over this kind of abandoned building. And then this is called Midori, so Midori means green. So, you know, there's a no, nobody's looking, 
you know, looking after this kind of building in the center of Tokyo. And then we just uh, get, uh, get rent from the owner. Owner is very eccentric and strange person, but uh, we can go on well with those people. And then uh, we renovate this. And then we did uh, make uh, some gallery, and then we made uh, all those uh, uh, e exhibition of art. And then this kind of design event from all over the world, the, the designers. So we do these kind of things at the abandoned house. And then we do these kind of things, and then event exhibition, all those kind of crazy events we do. And then we, we have a like working share, so-called share office, but more like a working together. So maybe we should make some nice abandoned house, change with a Ilgin or, a, you know, with us and no many pets or all those are books and then they can stay very cheaply and then can work together to entrepreneurship, you know, to start up some new, new society, new work for new society, new world, you know. So business will start like this, you know. So I start up this kind of condition and this is a library where we my my books and then and then we have this seven different this kind of places all over Tokyo now and then more into the countryside we want to make so all those things are happening and then also we we make uh, all those uh, uh, ho hotel renovation. You know, there's uh, so many, this kind of abandoned building, we change like this way. And then we change to totally new, new renovation. In the Western countries, including Tokyo, you know, the, the hotel is not just for staying like old days, more like a meeting spot and they create, and they create a community. So lobby or people where the, the only, not only the, the uh, people who are staying there, all kind of neighbors or anybody can come and have all the, the coffee and then tea or, and then we can do this. This is the entrance. And then there's also gallery there. And then we do that art event there. And then all this situation we are creating. And then this is my kind of business-wise kind of interior design, but different approach to this, w working together with the architect or designers. And then this is a restaurant or a cafe or all those entrance of the hotel in Shinjuku. And then K5 is also the, this kind of old bank in Japan. Uh, we renovated to, with a Swedish architect, three architects, and then we converted, we changed, transformed to this kind of hotel, and then cafe and restaurant and bar. So we do this kind of renovation. And then with Ilgin, we are thinking about the, uh, anyway, Ilgin's presentation would be next. And then we can show you the, how we change, the fact is happening in the center of Tokyo, and the fact we are trying to create we are trying to create. And then, not only just the surface of the design or architecture, more into the deep, profound, uh, change the culture and the meaning of the art, you know, we are trying to ask. And then we want to present to the world. So, you know, the Kishnau and then Moldova is in, surrounded by the nature and then good food, farmers, farming. And also there's some uh, abandoned building. I don't know, maybe, must be, yeah? So we can renovate very cheaply, but good design, good art, and good things. And then gathering good people, good entrepreneurs, and the who are 
not working like a centralization, who is a boss, who is a, like a workers or, you know, no hierarchy, more like a working together kind of feeling. And we want to create dog and people and then, then people are already equal, more like anarchists, you know, but not bad ways, kind of good way of the, not decentralization, not, ah, uh, not centralization, more like a decentralization, anarchy and then more like a equal people working together activities, which communism you originally try to aim at, aiming at. Tero, then, I, I, let me interrupt you. I, I just want to say that it's interesting that your adventure started with the moss. Yeah. And moss, uh, in comparison with the tree, yeah. it also shows this decentralized structure. Tree, yeah. tree is, has a center and, yeah. and centralized, and moss is decentralized. Yeah, yeah. And that you came through moss and that structures to this. Yes, uh, that's true. That's right. So we want to create. A, I learned from a lot from moss garden and the forest and the Shinto shrine things. It's good for the contemporary world, actually. So people want to deeply appreciate if you come to the moss garden and you come and then she designed a nice uh, bar chicken, uh, yeah, chicken houses and uh, all those things. So farming and also not only just uh, creating this environment, we make a business like a farmer's market. And not farmer's, farmer's market is not like a selling department store, like a, like a supermarket and then selling food more like a movement, and we do work with like a cultural activities. So T for Peace, for example, and also many things, which is a farming and the business wise, and, the, and also at the same, same time, we start up the, like a renovation of the hotels or renovation of the building, converting into the hotels, and then there are also working spaces. We want to do that, but we are very, not the main, mainstream, main, not mainstream, but still try to hard, trying hard to change to the good way. <clears throat> so this war situation and the COVID situation could be the good chance for us to change. So that's what we we all think. That's why we pay and we come here to present today and tomorrow. And then, then. Uh, her way of uh, designing the architecture and then his way of uh, relation between animals and people and animals each other, people each other. We want to change all those things in a, in a good way. No hierarchy, no center, no, not who is the boss, who is the president, all those things. More like an equally good and then, but have to be some good discipline. And then art is a, uh, Art uh, is a god, and the forest, nature, we worship. The nature is a god, you know. And then we love, respect peach people, and we respect dogs, animals, and then we respect enemies, even, you know. So we just try to do that. He is a, a rugby player, in a Japan kind of top rugby player, and then still is a head coach head coach of some rugby team in the university, but the main activity is like a rugby and then looking after the, the dogs and the, and the cats. And then we learn a lot from traveling, this travel, we learn a lot from uh, Turkey, Istanbul things, you know. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, we just, I just want to say, like wash out, so in Shinto, washing out is a more like a ceremony. So there's no religion, uh, no gods in Shinto, like a ceremony, uh, new, uh, rituals, you know, like a washing hand and the gargles with the, wa with the water, and then, then washing right hand side and washing out with the spring, so water. So washing out is a very key of the of the starting of some new things, okay? And then we pass to that.
Thank you so much, Kurosaki-san. Uh, I want to introduce myself. I think we don't have too much time, right, Nico? Just yeah, about 10, minutes. 10 minutes. OK, I will just wrap uh, very quickly uh, about myself. Uh, thank you so much, first of all, to Nico and ArtCore, MediaCore, to uh, organizing this event. We are so happy to be here. Uh, I'm an architect and designer. Uh, Rodion say that from Turkey, but actually I'm based in Japan, Tokyo. Um, we are like Kurosaki-san, Rodion, and Iso-san. We are meeting in the same mind to be horizontal, horizontality, like in, in the nature or in the working system. That's why uh, I have my own office in Tokyo, architecture office. Uh, that's why I named my uh, architecture office Plugin Architects, because Plugin is a kind of um, software to enhancing the capabilities if you want to work, uh, uh, work any program. So that's why I want to enhance the cap capabilities of the, uh, the design and architecture, collaborating with uh, many people, many backgrounds. So uh, originally I am from Istanbul, but I studied in Milan, Italy, uh, my degree architecture, and I'm activist also. That's why we are meeting in the same background uh, with you to be sensitive to what's happening in the Ukraine. Um, so uh, I want to introduce uh, about my practices, what we are meaning uh, mean uh, about uh, reconstruction or rehabilitation of the environment. Because in Ukraine now it's a, a war place and many structures are wounded as much as people. Uh, so we are targeting to rehabilitate, rehabilitate, rehabilitate uh, the buildings as much as it rehabilitates uh, the uh, human's mind. And uh, it's not about the name of my company, uh, but plugin is a kind of go back to 60s and 70s, which is like architecture movement. It is about the mobility and metabolism, which is adaptable and changeable, responding uh, to the conditions such as nature. That's why I propose a renovation system, which is instead of infill type, plug-in type. Uh, so we don't touch the structure, but instead we are uh, inserting some units uh, as a space inside of the absolute structures. Here may be like a stroke image to, to give you an idea uh, what we, uh, our initiatives. For example, uh, like ruins, like stone ruins, uh, to inserting uh, simple wood, uh, wooden uh, units inside. Uh, it can turn, it can rehabilitate, again rehabilitate uh, the building uh, stock uh, and gain it uh, to use as a space. Here is the stone house, for example. This is like Victorian uh, walls, just the ruin is stayed, and then it is inserted units inside and become a new space. Then I go back to my uh, initiatives. As I told you that uh, my background also Milano, and Milano, uh, there is an activist art group. Uh, they are using this empty abandoned building, which is Macau Milano. Maybe you heard about it. It's a quite big organization, independent artists. And this is a former slaughterhouse, actually, uh, belong to government. Uh, but government is not using it, that's why um, it is occupied by artists. Since building is not belong to uh, artists, they are not able to touch the building to change. They cannot make a renovation inside. So there are many events, uh, there are many meetings, but they need to activate the space uh, with some um, space making uh, designs. That's why uh, I organize a workshop, which is called like a renovation of the Macau, Galactic Guide for New Institution, we call it. And then we say rehabilitation, uh, rehab, I call it. I shortcut it and I say it like a rehab. Time to time, I'm like teaching in a university. So this project, I work with, with uh, Politecnico di Milano students. Uh, to small furnitures, to helping uh, the space 
helping uh, turning the space for using uh, any kind of events. So students here design some units, mobile units, uh, for using um, uh, any kind of uh, art events. Uh, I wish I could speak more about that, but I will go fast. Uh, and I also mind to use uh, um, uh, hand making the AY system. Uh, especially when I'm teaching uh, and making a workshops, I propose the students to design and then make, especially working with the woods. This is a small initiative to activate the uh, Macau Milano. Then we go back to bigger scale. This is Fukuoka, uh, Japan. It is a renovation of the six building stocks. It's like a huge residence, all residence. Uh, it's an international competition. By, uh, and it is awarded project as a second place out of 200 projects. I'm very happy that because um, this project uh, jury was all Japanese and uh, they, they take care of the renovation proposal because most of the projects propose to destroy all the buildings and then make new ones, but just our project was keep the existing structure and instead inserting uh, small units, small living spaces uh, to regain, re rehabilitate the uh, building stocks. In that sense, because uh, we were like a, a strike by the corona, COVID, and this project designed during the corona, uh, here we see that it's a, like a huge building stocks, and then we say, uh, here we can see the, the, the first level, we can see the building stocks and we added like a farm and green area and then plus huts and we call it huts village. And when we, um, it's not just putting, inserting a, a units inside, but we propose a new system of life. Uh, that's why uh, in the beginning I say, say like enhancing abilities. Why not dividing a house into small, small units and then spreading around the area? And once, when we are talking about the house, uh, you have many units uh, around the building and you walk by, uh, you walk through each other. So uh, it, there, it might be like many combinations, many programs. Here we can see some images about that. It's important that uh, it is uh, responding people's uh, conditions and their desire. For example, when you uh, buy a house, like it's maybe a three bedroom and one living room, and it's like a finish, right? You cannot make it large. But here, you can buy two cabin, and then you can add it more. So uh, it's, that's why it's flexible. And then we vision that why not inserting them uh, with drones. We dream it because it was a competition. That's why we got the second prize because it's, it's a kind of dream. And then we uh, see that all city, instead of demolishing, the keeping the existing uh, structure and then rehabilitate uh, them. Then we propose, uh, what, what about uh, creating a, like a simple structure a simple structure and then again uh, like a creating a village, uh, inserting different uh, spaces, which is a democracy of the, uh, the building design we call. Instead of creating a boring uh, one monolith design, uh, what about just the structure going back to Le Corbusier's uh, domino structure system and then inserting different uh, units. And this is a project, it's a new building project. It's a hotel, it's a one competition again in Fukuoka, 2020. We proposed a new life for hotel. We said that hotels, it's an Airbnb hotel, the first Airbnb hotel in, uh, in, the, in the world actually proposed. Uh, so we said, what about creating a village? And then it's a vertical village in the city and then um, uh, like it has a, a small uh, streets in between the units and then hotel become uh, small apartments, small buildings actually. This is, because since I have like different backgrounds, I give the reference of the Mediter Mediterranean small streets which is opening the, uh, the sea. 
So this is the another project. Um, here the layout. And I want to go back to uh, Tagihara Farm. Uh, we, because we respect the nature and then we think that we live together. We don't divide that. We are human, they are animals. Uh, so we just only design by human, no, like we design for everything. So here it, it's again our workshop initiative that with the students. Um, so I want them to, to make DIY structure system, which I so mind for the small scale architecture. Uh, we design a structure system which can be like a prepared by pre-cut uh, plywood and assemble on the side. Here that you, ca you can see students are just assembling the units, a shelf structure system which we invented, and then they carry by their hands uh, to build a space. And then some bigger spaces we use the crane, uh, pieces we use the crane, and then we create a space for chickens. This is like experimenting for the a uh, small uh, structure. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. And then, Iso san is like a rugby community club union where we are, we are trying to make the rugby, mecca of rugby in the center of the, the place. And then, Iso san. Maybe in Japanese, maybe you can, I can talk. Translate. Yeah, yeah, you uh, translate. I, I'm sorry, I can I cannot speak English very well. But eto nan datta ke inu no inu ga sore made yonju man biki datta ke. Skolka to spas how many dogs have you? Ah, ichi nichi ni sen no inu to neko ga shobun sarete mas. Ah, so in, in one in one day, one thousand uh, dogs and cats were kill, killed uh, per day. Yeah, yeah per day. Japan. Uh, Fifteen years ago. So, 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 uh, now it became 10% of what was uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, still some abandoned kind of dog and cats are killed, but... It's not that much. It's a lot of events at the farmer's market. And we're doing adoption events at the farmer's market. Adoption the dogs market. at the farmer's market, we work together. And it's becoming better now in Japan. So, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I will do my best until uh, there won't, won't be any dogs uh, uh, being killed. So, I am in Japan, there are a lot of disasters で、避難所、リフュージュ、あ、に犬や猫を連れて行くことができないので、僕たちが預かったり。When we have a catastrophes like tsunami or uh, earthquake, we can't uh, people can't take animals with them. So, uh, we are taking them instead. そう、なので東京から東日本、えっと、岩手、宮城、福島 あと熊本、広島、いろんなところに災害がある go to the places which were damaged after the catastrophes and I organize local communities so they help uh, abandoned or left dogs in the house. Straight cats or dogs. So now is the time to rescue the the uh, refugee dogs. And then there are so many dogs are killed, and then no food, and then you know in Ukraine. So there's so many uh, refugees here from Ukraine, and they brought uh, pets, but still nobody is so much. Not so many people are looking after the dogs. So we are trying to make the movement. Right? So I can't speak English, but I can speak anywhere. 
喋れるのでそこで活躍すると思います。I don't talk much, but I'm preferring to talk with animals and cats. Yeah, yeah. He can speak animals' languages. Okay, thank you so much, Nico. Um, thanks so much. Uh, that was uh, very informative, nice, and heartwarming. Uh, as you can see, we are trying to find uh, simple but elegant solutions to a very complicated and complex problem. Uh, thank you very much for your presentations. Um, we would like to continue talking about this topic. Uh, we would like to uh, discuss some more tomorrow at Media Core at uh, 5 p.m. Please join us for uh, the continuation of the presentations and also for a round of networking if you want to talk to our invitees from Japan. Uh, thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.